Today, I am going to be talking about priming your 3D prints, and I'm also going to be giving you an alternative method that might save you a lot of time in the long run when you start laying color down onto those 3D prints. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So priming your 3D prints. This is a crucial step when it comes to painting your 3D prints. Because whether it's PLA or resin, some paints will not stick to it very well, depending on even the type of filaments you are using. And this gives the paint you're laying down on your model something to adhere to, so it doesn't start to peel off or flake. Now most people will just take a rattle can to it and apply it just like that, and I have done this numerous times. This stuff is actually my favorite when it comes to rattle can. It's the 2X primer, which is Rust-Oleum and you can get this just about anywhere. And it comes in an array of colors like gray and white and some other colors I've seen. But if you're like me, this does not always work for you because I don't have a ventilated area that's good enough that I could use a rattle can all year round because this is temperature sensitive. So when it's winter time, I can't go in my garage and just start spraying because it just, it doesn't go down the right way. It has to be a certain temperature. So when I'm not using my rattle can because of weather or it's just because of the model, maybe it's got so much detail, I don't wanna use a rattle can, I'll use my airbrush. And this stuff is my go-to when it comes to primer for my airbrush. It's the Vallejo Surface Primer. They have multiple colors, white, gray, black, and it's, it's fantastic because one of these little bottles, I mean, they last me a long time. Because I've had this almost a year and it's, I'm just now needing to get another bottle of this stuff. So I will go ahead and put a link to all of these things in the description below. When you're priming your model, it's an important thing to know what colors you're going to be putting down on that model. So if it's a lot of light tones like yellows and some reds and even skin tones, maybe you don't want to prime your model just all black and leave it at that. Maybe you'd want to put a gray primer on it or even better for that purpose, a white primer. And if you're one of those people that just always use one specific color, that's perfectly fine. You know, everybody has their methods. But I wanna offer an alternative method when it comes to priming your models. No matter what kind of primer you're using, you can always change it up a little bit. You don't always have to prime it all one single color. Now, I have been working on this Spider-Man diorama for quite some time, and I've got it all processed. I've already made a video on how I processed that and got it all sanded and ready for primer, and I'll go ahead and put that video right there for you. But when I was really looking at this model and inspecting it, I realized that there are too many different things that I have to paint because I've got the lizard skin and I wanted that to have a darker base tone. And then I have his lab coat that's on him, which I'm going to make it more of a dirty gray or white. And then Spider-Man, he's red and blue and I don't really want to do black for him. But then there was also just the base and the base, well, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things to that, so I didn't really care if, you know, what color it was. But when I started this, I had a few people actually reach out to me on Instagram and asking specific questions about primer of which color they should go with when it comes to this model that has different tones. And they wanted it black, but they knew that some areas white was gonna be a lot better. That made me realize maybe not everyone knows that you can mix it up. And that was kind of the purpose of this video. I wanted to explain to you, you don't always have to go with one color. The most important thing here is primer. You have to have a base coat for your paint to stick really well. And trust me, you could be getting away with it for quite some time of like, I never prime my stuff. I just start laying, you know, my color base down and everything's fine with me. And if that's the case for you, Fantastic. I'm very happy for you. But if you start switching your filaments or change your resin up, that might not be the case for you. It might start to flake off or it, when you're painting it, it dries and it starts to bead up. And I've seen that happen and it's not fun. That's why we prime our models. So realizing that, I have actually done this in the past, but I thought I would just like really bring it to everyone's attention. You can absolutely use multiple tones of primer on one model and you can either mask it off and paint it all black and then paint it white on top of that say if it's a bust and you've got skin tone i actually did a punisher bust a while back and i did that exact thing i honestly just painted the head 
all as a light gray primer, and the body was all a black primer. But for this Spider-Man diorama, I realized that the lizard, I'm going to have to do a white for the lab coat, and then the rest is all going to have to be black. But it doesn't have to be perfect every single time. If you have a good airbrush that you can get really good detail work on, using this Vallejo surface primer is fantastic because it's already pre-mixed, you just pour it into your airbrush and then you just spray it on. So for this model, I went ahead and sprayed all of the black and went through and got all of his skin tone completely black. Then once I had that done, I went in and used this white surface primer from Vallejo and it worked out fantastic. And you might be wondering, why don't you just paint the whole thing white and then just paint over the skin? And there's one reason for that. I actually like to have that black because I use that color as the shadows. I don't completely paint over my primer all the time. Sometimes I actually use that black as shadows. That way, if I don't get the paint in every little nook and cranny, like say in the neck or some, maybe the holes of the ear, they're already black. So I'm actually saving myself and getting the shadows where I need them automatically when I'm painting. So now you're probably wondering, when should I be using multiple colors of primer and when should I just spray the paint the whole thing black or all gray? And that is really dependent on your model. You need to look at it and think about what colors you're going to be using. Because <laughs> painting yellow over top of black is an absolute nightmare. If you've ever tried it, I go ahead, try it. See how much fun it is. It, it's terrible. You're going to be putting 30 coats of yellow on top of it before the yellow actually starts to look like yellow. So in that instance, if say if there's a lot of yellow or light, light pinks or any kind of skin tones, sometimes the best thing you can start with is a white or a light gray. And that base is going to help you immensely. But on the other hand, if you've got something that's going to have a lot of shadows and cracks in it, Sometimes you want to just paint the thing black and that is when you can really take advantage of those areas and leave that black primer in there and that will have your shadows there automatically. Now the one thing I will say, if you're doing a zenithal highlight or should I say a traditional zenithal highlight, you should be using black and then you use your white ink or white paint and spray it from the top. And if you're not familiar with what a zenithal highlight is, this is actually what it is. So. Everything from the bottom is all black and everything from the top is all white and that is really defining our light sources and This is the stage of primer to where you're just starting to add a little bit more to it So when I start painting this I'm going to know where I need to have it brighter and where I need to have it darker And if you're interested in seeing me paint these guys, I'm actually painting these on my patreon So these are exclusive models that I'm giving tutorials on how I'm painting these and you can check out the link to my Patreon down in the description below. But <laughs> these are going to be awesome. So to wrap this whole thing up, you should be painting your models with a primer. Absolutely. Whether it's a brush on primer or a spray on primer, it doesn't matter. You just need to have something on your models to where that paint will stick to it really well. But when you're doing different types of color primer, you don't even always have to mask it off. Like, you can have overspray. Sometimes it doesn't matter. For this lizard, I didn't mask it off at all. I just got as much detail in there as I needed. Making sure the areas that I wanted white were white and the areas that I needed to be black were black. And I want to give a special thank you to my new Patreons this month. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon, you'll get access to exclusive video tutorials and be able to access my private Discord where we chat about everything, painting 3D prints, and sometimes just showing off some really cool stuff we're all working on. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.